Welcome to Everyday Reviews. If you own a Hyundai Ionic 5 like we do, maybe hopefully a little bit cleaner than this filthy one here, but we just came out of a, a snowstorm, you need to have one of these gadgets in your glove box. And I've got to say, this little thing is pretty well a no-brainer for all Ionic 5 owners. The Ionic 5 is full of unique features from the pixel LED lighting to the retro shape, but one really unique feature that it has is called V2L, vehicle to load. So what that does is allows you to pull power from the battery and power your appliances, for instance, from your house. So on the top trims, the unlimited in Canada, which we have here, or the limited in the US, you actually have a plug right below the rear seats. If you didn't get the top trim though, don't fret, you can still get V2L through an adapter, either through Hyundai itself or a third party. This is the Lectron V2L adapter and it's pretty well the same. There's a couple little differences is that this one doesn't have a power plug. So how does it work? So we just open up the charge port here. I'm on a weird angle here. I'm gonna switch around. I'm going to plug it in. You can hear that snap there. This is where you would plug your device in. Now let's plug something in here. So you're still at the limits of 1900 watts. It's, it's up to 15 amps as well. This is a real instance where I actually used this last week. We actually had a power outage and a snowstorm. Well, in order to recharge my batteries for the snowblower, I wanted to use this. I do have a solar electric generator as well inside which is from blue eddy and i love that but that's only two kilowatt hours of power when this has 77 kilowatts of power and i want to use that one inside instead so i'm just going to plug this in and it's going to initialize there it goes it's going to start blinking my charging indicators blink meaning that it is working right now and the charger is on. How cool is that? Now, just like the regular V2L, you're gonna go into your settings in your EV settings to control how much power you're going to allow the V2L to take until it actually stops because you don't want to actually drain your entire battery. All right, let's plug something else in here. We have a small compressor here. You're gonna plug that in. You're gonna wait. It's going to give us a little Click, and it's starting to blink. Turn the compressor on. There we go. Here's the compressor. It's attached just to the vehicle. There we go. Perfect enough. I'm gonna turn it off. It's a little bit loud. But there's a good example. Maybe you're a, a small handyman and you wanna do some small jobs. You might be remote. There's no power easily accessible. Hey, you have your built-in generator. The beauty of it is that depending on the charge of your vehicle, you have a lot of capacity here, probably up to like 50 kilowatt hours of power. So power outage, you wanna, you wanna power your deep freeze in your garage. I've, I've done that with my other generator, huge bonus there tailgate parties man you could do uh, big screen tvs you could do stoves sous vide instant pots you can do it all in the back of your hyundai ionic 5 and the biggest bonus i like about this adapter opposed to using the internal one is that this one doesn't require you to turn the car on the internal one, I do have to turn the vehicle on or put it into utility mode or at least have power going to it. Uh, this one here, the power is not on the vehicle right now. It's not even an accessory and it's just plugged in. Unplug and you just pull it out. That's it, throw that in your glove compartment. Now, before getting this, I did read a few reviews on this and some people had complaints saying that Essentially, there's a little switch here and they're saying that it, it's hard to depress and they're, you know, with your plug. I have had zero issue. I've hooked a uh, coffee maker to this. I've hooked um, everything to it and I have had no issue. Once again, you know, you want to see, I'm plugging it in just like that. Wait for the little, little click. There we go. And on it goes. There's no issue here. Maybe... 
Maybe earlier ones were a little bit looser, I don't know. So I just wanna show you that example. One thing though, I thought it would work and it could be very handy for campers out there, especially if people are using blow dryers. For some reason, the Dyson blow dryer, you know, the fancy see-through one, even though it's 1600 watts, so it's 300 watts below the, the limit of 1900, it, does, it, it powers on, but it will not blow. And that's with the internal or the exterior one. For some reason, um, the Dyson has some sort of different protocol that doesn't work for that. So if you want to power your Dyson with this or the internal one, it's not going to work. Another thing to note about this adapter is when it's activated, as it's flashing right there, it actually locks on just like your regular charger does, even though there's a release trigger there. So basically if I unplug it though, now it becomes solid. Now I can just go and pull it off, close up, put it in the glove box, or I like to put it underneath the rear floor. At this time, the online description states that this is only compatible with the Hyundai Ionic 5. So that's it. There's not much more to this product. It's short, it's sweet, and the best thing is it's cheap. 129 bucks on Amazon, like I mentioned. If you're interested in this or any other Electron products, they make chargers, they make adapters. I also have a Tesla adapter for the Ionic 5 so I can use the Tesla chargers through Electron. Um, the prices are really, really good. And yeah, anyways, I'll leave a link below. And if you have any questions, leave them down below as well. See you in the next review. Cheers. We're here searching for Kevin Costner and the entire crew of Yellowstone. No, I'm just joking. We're here for Winter X Infinity. I love it when manufacturers have so much confidence in their product that they brought us here. We're gonna check out the all-wheel drive situation on ice, on snow, on the road. Wanna know what Rolling Lab is? Let's check it out. So tell, tell us about the two vehicles that you brought here and what are their purpose? What is your position? So officially it's Design Manager Specialist at Lego, in Lego Retail Model Production Kladno, which means I'm a designer working for Lego, getting paid for building large stuff out of Lego bricks. That's incredible. This is CES 2023. Okay, Christopher, we're at the Blackview dash camera booth. What is new with Blackview? Yeah, for Blackview, we do have our 970 LTE model. 